Most of you guys probably didn't know this, but there's a secret hatch on the bottom of your air tractor. Behind that hatch is actually a smaller UMX air tractor. Dad jokes all day long. You know, I think that's pretty good really for an intro. Welcome to UMX air tractor. This looks fantastic. It's funny, a lot of times we see new airplanes come out by E-Flight and I think we all know eventually there's going to be a UMX version. And the appeal to these, they're lightweight, they're fun and powerful. This is a 3S airplane packed with lights, little micro LEDs all over in more places than what the uh, bigger version of this has. And they're already built in the box. They come out literally just like this in one piece. You bind it to your universal radio and you fly and you have fun. Usually large scale flying in a very small physical form. And I love that about UMX. You can have an entire fleet, fit in one closet as opposed to one airplane barely fitting in your garage. So I, I, I tend to have both <laughs> and I think a lot of us do, but a lot of guys are just park flyers. So this is a maiden flight. I'm excited to fly this. The nerves are much smaller on a smaller airplane, but I'm still very anxious and excited. So let's put it in the air and see how it does. The lights look amazing. They really do, they're nice and bright. Got safe. I did have to reverse my flap switch. That was a first for a UMX thing. Uh, but that has flaps and a little reverse of a switch and no thing. Uh, there, safe, that's hands free. Even in at least, uh, at least five miles an hour of wind, there's very low on the throttle. I'm flying on a little 3S JST plug battery. I'll show you my battery placement at the end of this video. Someone reminds me, please. The only thing this is missing is smoke, so it could look like a real sprayer. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, UMX, get on the smoke. Okay, nice and easy little cruiser. This is a very scale flyer. Abby, you got me locked on there? Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't know how you do it. But <laughs> nice and scale, let's bring it in nice and slow, because this is where air tractors shine. Just keeping it low. Low, like we're spraying those crops. And even though we're fighting some wind, what we're gonna do is put those flaps on and really do that low crop flying maneuvering. So what you gotta do, what you gotta do to make it look scale is kind of like up, there's little rudder over, and not like that, <laughs> not like that. Bringing it in right over those crops. Oh, this wind makes it hard to get that plane low with confidence and flaps on. And spray your crops and then fly up out of that. Okay, flaps off and let's turn safe off. See if we can fly it not scale. Yeah. Ah, oh, super cool airplane, you guys. Super cool. I actually think I'm liking the way this one flies a little more than the larger one. The large one does, I, I stall it because I push it. I, I stall it because I'm literally pushing it to its stall tendencies hard. But here we go, we can be a little more aggressive. Oh, I could watch crop duster pilots all day. They're very, very, very skilled pilots. Flying up, ruddering over, coming back down, slow, and just spraying those crops. Man, so cool, so cool. This is one that's gonna be hard to make myself not fly scale, like I'm doing out here. <laughs> but I'm sure this plane in real life could do a little bit of, probably a loop or two easily. But uh, this is gonna be able to do some wild stuff too, I'm sure. The roll rate is very nice on that. That's not even full throttle. We're gonna snap it up here, Abby. Nope, no snap, really. Not much of a snap. We'll try one with more forward momentum. So let's go into it with this. A little more speed and we'll snap it like that. There we go. Basically just a roll. So we're not doing much on the snap on this. It has a very long wing, you guys. It's a very long wing airplane. It's kind of designed to be almost like a sailplane, really. Uh, because you want it to just cruise and be very fuel efficient very kind of cheap airplane for these guys to fly. If they had to pay much more for their airplanes, they couldn't afford to be crop dusters. So these airplanes are very kind of uniquely set up to be crop dusting planes. Although you can modify just about any plane, I think, to do it. That long wing too means more of a spray area. Really cool airplanes, really awesome. I love the bright yellow, easy to see. One of my favorite color RC planes to fly. Just very easy to see. I'm gonna fly up, and I wanna try a different little maneuver here. I don't know if we'll be able to do it. Do a spin, yeah, nice. Everything happens so quickly on a small airplane. <laughs> I was thinking that looked really fast. It was fast, it spiraled down uh -huh. really quickly. We'll do it again over here, but we'll go right. Yeah, look at that. 
Oh yeah, just gotta make sure you pull up in time. I wonder if we can do that inverted. We'll do it back out here. I think that was a good angle because the sun's behind us. I don't know if we can do it inverted or not. I'll try it out. Almost. I think I needed to push the rudder the other direction. We'll try that one more time. And we'll actually try an inverted pass. Let's see what this looks like. No. Ooh wee. You know, that's nice though. We can just rocket that I up. I think it just again. falls fast. <laughs> there we go. That's pretty nice. Yeah, nose down. It's it's pretty Oh, fast. there's that spider! Okay, right, right, right. Oh, my shirt! <laughs> oh, please tell me you're gone and not down my shirt. Oh, I knew it was still around somewhere. Yeah? My goodness. That was terrifying. <laughs> please give it up to my amazing <laughs> wife for dealing with spiders and being not just a camera person, but an amazing wife, too. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Abby, first and foremost, you're an amazing wife. Sorry, getting spiders off of me comes before filming plans. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, no. Priorities. Outstanding mom <laughs> and one of the best RC camera person people in the world. You do a fantastic job. Thanks. You couldn't say camera woman because I'm probably the only camera woman <laughs> for playing. Maybe. No, we have telemetry too. I guess not. that's not exactly true. Sorry. <laughs> I think there's a couple out there and they do okay. Yeah. Yeah, there are a couple. I know of a couple. So uh, let's do, I put it in safe because you were dealing with the spiders. Let's see if it can fly upside down. Okay, a lot of, lot of elevator on that, but we can do it. It just flew into the sun, so let's do it back going this way. Good bit of elevator, I wouldn't say a lot actually. Just not the best inverted flyer. But you see we're holding it upside down, let's do an outside loop. And it just peels off to the side a little bit. Really fun, huh? <laughs> it's a UMX air tractor. And my favorite thing now, we're just kind of putting it through its paces a little bit, but my favorite thing to do on this absolutely is going to be to keep it low and we're going to try to slow it down a little bit. We can go maybe half flaps and just see what that does for us. It did put a little lift in there. You saw that balloon right when I kicked them on. But half flaps, low and slow. You're not going to see me do this too often with a lot of airplanes. When I get a 3S battery, one of my favorite things to do is just to keep it sporty and fun. And that's what's going to be nice about this airplane. I can keep it low and slow really get that crop duster look going. If I get into a bind where I'm worried, like a wingtip stall or something, you know, hit the wind at the wrong angle, we can punch it and pull right out of that. But then if I want to also just say, you know what, that's enough low and slow, let's go. We can just climb it and not have to worry about losing power. It's 3S power on this little airplane and that's awesome. It is flying really well. They fly so big. They get these little guys tuned in so well with AS3X and safe. But keep in mind, the majority of this flight now has been out of safe. Telemetry on this plane means when the battery gets low, the radio should give us an alarm saying, hey, time to think about landing. And I'm really cruising at mostly half throttle for a lot of this flight. There's my fetch on the air track. First knife edge, sort of, because it went at an angle to us. Very bad at that angle of knife edge. I can't believe this actually did a knife edge. There you go. Pretty cool. <laughs> That's full right rudder with almost full throttle to pull that off. That's really cool to see that knife edging. <laughs> I don't think I've ever done a knife edge on the big one, Abby. <laughs> We can actually climb knife edge that. Man, that is sweet. I wonder how good the show pass would work on this. You gotta be careful though, because the sun is like right behind us. Show pass with an air tractor. <laughs> 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 That's not a good way to spray the crops. Okay, let's do a little more sporty, a little more aggressive flying to see if we can get a low battery alarm. That's Whoa. a full throttle pass, which you guys are <laughs> wanting to see. Let's do this, full throttle. Let me film it better this time. Oh yeah, this is quick. Oh wow. My goodness. Wow, and it's quiet. Listen to this. Keeping it full throttle through this bank. We're gonna go right down the runway, full throttle. Full throttle. Wow. Full throttle. Full throttle. Here we go. Look at this, Abby. Let's just go nuts with it. I'm struggling to keep up with it. My goodness. 
Look at this. You thing. are everywhere. Wow, yeah. Ooh, it feels good at full throttle. It feels like a little racer. Look at this. We can just climb. I mean, lately with electric, because I got a little, little bit of time on gas. Gas is like full throttle. At least my big 50% or 46% biplane that I've got now. You keep that thing at full throttle a lot of the flight. Lately with electric, I've been so comfortable with it. I keep it much lower on the throttle. Very rarely are you guys watching me full throttle, but when I hit that full throttle, it's just like this. It just goes. Oh, nice. Okay, hold on. I got an idea. Don't know if I can do it, but we're gonna try. Uh, kind of a flat spin, but not very flat. Sorry about the wildness. I just wanted to save it. Try it again out here. Okay, we might not even be able to get a full flight on this, you guys, just because the flight time is so epic. Let's see what we can do about a smooth, clean landing. Uh, so the wind is to our backs. So that means I got to land with the sun in my eyes. We're going to go half flaps on this landing to really try to slow it down. I think we can come in at this angle, actually. This is not too bad. Safe is off. Let's just go zero throttle here. We're gonna have to put a little throttle on so we don't stall. A little bit of throttle, a little bit of throttle. Just wanted to keep in the air there. Taxi's well, I think we should have a steerable tail wheel, but remember we're fighting some wind, so I think I'm gonna <laughs> have to go pick it up. But there, we're steering it. There you go. The wind is probably gonna turn me around. Oh, it did. did. <laughs> I love telemetry on my radio because it tells me that I've got 11.1 .1 volts left on my flight battery. And before I unplug this, I want to show you guys, don't pull on this little tab. It even says in the instructions, you're going to pull more up on the front of that. Here's our brushless motor mounted up there with our flight lights. That's where I had my battery mounted with the wiring in the back. This is a 300 milliamp 3S battery right there, right along that little sticker. Hopefully you've got that sticker in there too. Now guys, let's talk about this for a second because not too long ago, I think they had the Turbo Timber or something. I can't remember what was the first plane that came out that used this battery, but when the UMX Pits came out that used this battery, and then there was a second after that, not the Voodoo P51, something after the Pits. Might have been the uh, Turbo Timber X, UMX Turbo Timber X, I believe. Yeah, that's it. Uses this battery, this very specific battery that we'll have linked in the description box below. This thing is the highest performance battery. It is like pure gold because that flight time was insane. We were up to seven minutes flying the way I was flying and no indication of low battery at all. So you better believe we're gonna use this same battery to do some shorts content right? That's going to be on the channel just thanks to this gold nugget. These things are amazing. We'll have this linked in the description box below. I think when we featured the UMX pits, uh, we probably helped thousands of people pick these batteries up just because they are insanely awesome. So I'm happy to see that this plane is flying on the same battery. I don't have to pick up any more batteries. I've got these same amazing batteries from the pits and a couple other planes and that's always a great thing. This is fantastic. Look at that bright yellow super easy to see this should appeal if not to the trainer or the beginner and it should also to anyone else out there that's a little hesitant about your own flying ability because this one's so easy to see it's very bright yellow the blue stripe down the side and then the obvious shape of the airplane makes for really great orientation you could fly this at night you don't have to fly like i was flying not that i'm amazing at flying but i fly a little sportier than some people do and you could easily just put this in safe mode or just leave it in you know a nice scale flying kind of thing and you could plop it down in tall grass there's a lot to love about this airplane so if you're in love with the two just like me we'll have it linked in the description box below next to the big air tractor also and using that link does help to support our channel and our family at no extra cost to you whether you're flying this your very first airplane edf jets big gassers like i just mentioned helicopters whatever you're flying you really should fly with ama it's the academy of model aeronautics they're an insurance program for those of us that like to fly and drive rc vehicles and at this point in time geez guys ama i don't think they realized like everything got expensive because their price is still the same it's about the price of a yeah Nate, we won't say shush. anything to them. i think it's amazing though like i really do because in my opinion it should be more expensive than what it is for a lot a little, a little less than the price of this airplane you can be insured for the whole year for everything you fly get a nice magazine subscription to go along with it 
It'll be linked in the description box below. You gotta fly with AMA. It went from super cold to super beautiful, literally overnight. And this is just an amazing day for flying airplanes. I couldn't have asked for a better day to maiden the UMX air tractor with you guys. And for that, I thank God. For everything in my life, the good, the bad, the stressful, the de-stressors, for you guys, my wife, my family, everyone, I thank God. And I hope you guys are grateful for some good in your life too. It's hard sometimes, isn't it? We compare ourselves, but try not to, and know that we're grateful for you, for your view, for your time, we thank you. We also thank our Patreon supporters from the bottom of our hearts because we couldn't do what we do as often as we do without your amazing support. You're the best. We'll have, it's been a while, but the last time we flew this air tractor will be an amazing video for you to check out. The full, the big guy, that video will be popping up right about now. Thanks for watching, we'll see you there. Bye!